Hello everybody, this is Yoko Cinema Reactions, and this is going to be my review for My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode 9. I got done, I noticed it popped up, and I was like, oh yes, oh no, at the same time, because the episode before that, Aizawa got hit with that quirk, that quirk erasing bullet, and we weren't sure what was going to happen. I had said at the in the review for that one that there was two, three options. He was going to lose the quirk. He was going to somehow avoid losing his quirk even though the bullet hit it. By wearing a bullet proof pants or something like that. Even then I don't even know if that would work. Or three. Uh, he would somehow avoid losing his quirk by getting hit by it by cutting off his leg. And that actually is what happened. However, even though he did that, uh, Shigaraki still raced in and possibly blinded him because his, his little attempt at erasing his quirk didn't work and thus to try and get rid of his quirk. He tried to blind him. I don't know how well that worked. Or if uh, he's still somehow going to keep able to use his quirk despite that injury. But at the moment in this episode, he is uh, out of the picture at the moment. And because of this, they are now entirely in trouble. Because now that Eraser's out of the picture, he can now use not only the other quirks in his arsenal thanks to all for one, he can now use his decay quirk. And Deku realizes this. Actually, before I mention that, um, yeah, Todoroki popped in. I was like, where did he come from? And apparently that was, apparently there was a dot following Bakugo and Midoriya back in episode, uh, five, six, something like that, I can't remember which one. And apparently that was Todoroki. And, yeah, uh, Todoroki works on helping his dad cool down because, you know, obviously Endeavor using his quirk too much will cause him to heat, to cause him to have heat stroke if he's not careful. So Todoroki's ice ability, yeah, is gonna come in handy on this one. And, yeah, uh, like I said, now that Shigaraki can use his decay quirk, they are in deep, deep duty. But... Midoriya ends up not only using his Black Whip to get everybody into the air, but, including Shigaraki, of course, but he unlocks the Flow Quirk, which was not Ashimura's quirk, I, All Might's uh, Master's quirk, which is good. However, because of this, he's now going to have a harder time keeping in control of all those quirks at once, and... Yeah, he essentially deduces that if he keeps Shigaraki in the air, he won't be able to really do anything with his, with his decay quirk, obviously. And he proceeds to start uh, wailing on the guy at 100%, which I was like, dude, you're not, at, you're not able to control 100% without breaking your bones yet. And um, before, the guy had tried to use his decay quirk, but then something happened to where he had taken damage, but... He wasn't regenerating like he was before. And he surmises that because he pushed his body past his limits like he had, that's why his uh, the regeneration quirk wasn't really working. And, well, Aizawa probably wasn't helping with that either, but actually no, Aizawa was only erasing the decay quirk because he can only do that one, do one quirk at a time. Because, I guess, usually... A person will only have one quirk. But in the case of Shigaraki and Midoriya, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> so his his super regeneration ability is not helping on the not doing too well on this. And uh, while this is going on, Momo and the others are watching helplessly as Gigantomachia is running rampant towards where Shigaraki and them are. And that sedative they got into his mouth is not really working. 
And they were wondering, why is it not working? And I'm like, did you really expect one tiny vial of that to work? Now, if they'd gotten three or four into his mouth, then maybe that could have worked. But I highly doubt that one little vial, no matter how concentrated it is, should be able to work on that gigantic monster. And uh, because of this, there are no heroes, because of this whole mission thing, there are no heroes to evacuate the citizens in the other cities that are in his path. Which means anybody in those cities are essentially screwed. Though they do televise which cities are in the path, that doesn't mean they're going to be able to get out in time. Here's hoping that uh, nobody that the others care about are in those cities. Or, uh, this is not going to go well. <sighs> so, yeah. Not good. And Ida and the others are considering going to help Midori and them because they can't, uh, they can't really do anything. They have no idea what's going on because their communications were shut down and Giganto Maki is on his way over there and I don't know if that, uh, the relief area that they're in is in his path or not. I'm hoping not. Thankfully, Tokoyami was able to keep Hawk safe. I don't know about everybody else in that area, but they're alive at least. But because of this, like I said, Midori is going at this guy at 100% despite, you know, the injuries he's sustaining. He can't keep up with this guy and hope to beat him if with the guy having super regeneration and him not being able to heal himself. So, in the end, he'll end up losing if it's a matter of endurance. And Bakugo knows this, and he ends up reflecting on a few things during that they, that they had during training, when he was tra having to try and train Midoriya. And, you know, some of the others were working on training him. Uh, like, Uraraka was trying to train him with the whole floating thing, so that way if it does show up, he's better prepared to be able to use it. And apparently, um, All Might has a theory on something that happened with the fourth holder of One for All. I don't know which one that is. Because I don't remember which one the holder of Black Whip was. Because I know it goes Midoriya, All Might, Nana Shimura, and I don't remember who was after that. I'm assuming the Black Whip user was either number five or number six. I don't remember. Actually, it might have been number five because apparently the one who had given Nanashimura the quirk was had black hair. But apparently he had a theory on something that I guess had happened to the fourth user or something about him and he wasn't willing to tell Midori yet about it because he wasn't sure. But I mean, at the very least, tell Bakugo your theory because then that maybe they can figure out, try and figure out what if whatever he's thinking is true or not. At the very least, tell Midoriya, because then he could try and maybe figure out, yeah. sorry, what was true or not. Because, I mean, he is the one that's in contact with the other users of One for All in that little weird world. So, if anybody would be able to prove whether something is right or not when it comes to that sort of thing, he should be able to. Anyway, like I said, Bakugo is reflecting on how he's treated Midoriya this whole time. And he's kind of realized that, yeah, I've been treating this guy like crap when all he's ever done was care about others other than himself. And he realizes that, yeah, I wasn't asked for it. So he ends up getting Todoroki and Endeavor to try and do one last stand against this guy while Midori has got him distracted. And it almost looks like it could work. However... I think All for One took control of Shigaraki in that moment and, you know, got Endeavor with that weird quirk thingy that he, that All for One had used in his battle with All, with, uh, All Might before. The weird red and black one. I don't remember what the heck it was. <laughs> and he ends up aiming that one at Midoriya. Well, 
not only, like I said, is Bakugo reflecting on this whole thing, but he ends up rushing in and pushing Midoriya out of the way and taking that attack. And that's how the episode ends. So yeah, Bakugo got some major character development on this one. I doubt he's going to get rid of that abrasive personality of his anytime soon, but I think he'll be a little bit nicer to Midoriya at the very least. Cause, yeah, I think he does realize he was being an ass. Whether he says it or not, he, I think he does realize it. Anyway, I will get to work on everything and here's hoping that episode 10 everybody survives this whole thing. <laughs> Because, yeah, we don't need anybody else dying. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.